Hey, Rex Anderson here, where I help you master the technology that you need for your practice. So today I had a situation where I wanted to move a bunch of contacts from one Kajabi account to another. Normally you're not supposed to do this, not able to do this within Kajabi, each account or each, actually each um, website within Kajabi uh, inside of a single account is intended to be unique and separate and uh, not crossing over from website to website within an existing or a single Kajabi account. But I had the situation where I needed to do that. I had a new account, a new site set up, and I wanted to move all of those existing contacts over into the new system. So I'm going to show you how I did that. What I did is used Zapier. And what I did in Zapier is I set it to add, and I've got it here on the screen here. So I set it up in Zapier that I connected it to my Kajabi account, and I connected it to the old site uh, website address for Kajabi and I used the trigger that when a specific tag was added so that was pretty straightforward my Kajabi accounts already set up it, the, one of the available triggers in Zapier for Kajabi is they watch to see when a track when a tag is added when a tag is added to a specific contact so when that happened I chose a specific um, the specific uh, site in Kajab in my Kajabi account that I wanted to pick from that I wanted the contacts to come from and I gave it the tag that I was creating and let's see how this goes here then so here's a tag it's called send to ITA it's coming from a site called solo professional essentials I clicked on the find data to uh, go ahead and grab all the data from that and once I'm done editing it brings in the contact information and since this is proprietary and private information. I'm not going to show you all the details, but it did pull in a couple of samples for me to work with to see how it would work. And from grabbing a contact in Kajabi, I then turned around and had it submit that information back to Kajabi using a special form. So again, it wasn't uh, too much different than the first step. I chose the Kajabi app. I chose that what I wanted to do in the Kajabi system that when that does the action, the second step of a of a Zapier trigger, Zapier function. The second step, I wanted it to create a form submission, and I create a special form submission, a special form in this new Kajabi site where it was picking up not only name and email by default, but it also put in the address, both first and second line of the address, the city, state, and zip. And I created a new text field called uh, tags from other system. Because you can't transfer the tags and have them applied, but I could at least get a list of the tags that, that were, um, were had been applied in the other system so I can get them by name. At least I've got them listed. It's not the same as having them tagged in the new system, but it's one step back from that. At least I have all those tags um, in a text file, in a text record for each contact. So I, again, chose the account. I'm going to go this to my Kajabi account and put in the information that uh, I want it to go to. And so this is going into Influencer Technology Academy. And then what I did here is just for each of those file and each of those fields in that custom form that I created that has all the fields, I just referenced all the Zapier fields that I was getting from the first system and just had it plug in information. So the phone numbers from the phone number, the country from the country, state from the state, nothing else is pretty simple. And then again, tags from the other site um, just got just plug in the actual tags that were applied to that specific contact um, in the original system and then did a test and turned on the zap. That's what I did to create the connection and then I tested it with one contact. I then tested it with some other contacts and tested it by by testing it. I, what I mean is I went into my Kajabi site and when it, all the people in my Kajabi site. So let me see if I can bring that up for you without showing too much. So hold on. All right, so I'm in the Kajabi site that's a donor site. That is, that this is the, uh, the donor site. This is this, the website that has the contacts in people and contacts in the system that I want to send to the other Kajabi site. So what I did is I find a specific individual contact, click on their box here, the, the box next to their name, and then under actions, I can click on tags and I click on the button, add the tag. 
And by doing that and then selecting that triggering tag that I set up through Zapier, as soon as that tag got applied to this specific contact, it went through the Zapier program and was added to the other site in Kajabi. After that came back successful, I did it with two or three people. And that all came back successfully. And I would go over to the other site in Kajabi to make sure that those, those names transferred and everything looked good. And then I just started doing it um, in bulk. That is, I do 25 of them at a time. And finally, when I was really certain that this was gonna work, I just selected all my people, all my contacts, selected this button to select all of them, and again, applied that tag to anybody that did not have it already. What happened as a result then under Zapier is I exceeded the number of zaps that I can run in any one calendar month for my free account. So I had to pay a little bit money to, to Zapier to upgrade my membership with Zapier so that I would get an, enough contacts or if I would get enough zaps available in a calendar month to be able to run all the ones. Because what happened is the ones that it, once they exceeded the number, I think I had like 100 that I could run in this month. And so I maxed that out with about 75 of the people. And then everybody else was just, they, they called them held zaps. They were just on hold. But as soon as I paid more money to, to Zapier and upgraded my Zapier account to give me more zaps per month, then all of them got released, or at least I think I have to actually manually release them. So I went in again, one at a time in Zapier, um, clicked on the button to play the zap or release the zap, whatever the language is within Zapier, and eventually was able to release all of the remaining zaps and all the things the computer just took care of transferring those. It was done in about five minutes. So I hope that helped. If uh, you still have questions about this process, let me know. Uh, I know we've used this idea of using Zapier to move contacts from one system into Kajabi from, uh, from Infusionsoft. But like anything where you're trying to put information from one system into the other, you can always have custom fields in one that are just not going to translate over into the other one. So all the basic contact information, name, email, mailing address, that's going to work. And if you have some custom fields, you can ask for those to be picked up by Zapier and they will be, and then they are available to be put into a, a, a matching custom field within the new Kajabi account. So if you, again, if you have questions about this or it doesn't really make sense, leave me a comment down below and we'll talk soon.